everyone, this is Michael from Mariola Influence. This is part one of our three-part series on mapping, planning, and then ultimately flying uh, with the DJI Agrax T10. So we're gonna start step one now. That's with the Phantom 4 RTK. But we're gonna go over to the RTK base station and we're gonna show you how that connects and then we'll do everything step by step. Okay, so this is our base station, the RTK base station. This is essentially going to give us that precision for the drone. Uh, there's three buttons here. All right, so let's turn it on. This middle button is the on button. It, it's actually a little bit different. You just long press it, unlike the uh, two tap. So you just long press this. This may take a couple minutes to actually uh, find the satellite but once it does, you'll see a couple green lights. And then ultimately when we connect the drone, we'll have all green lights. So this is the power button, like I said, right in the middle. Off to the right, it has an M, that's the mode. So for this case, in this instance, we actually want mode one for the DJI Phantom 4 RTK. It will be different for different drones. So like the M300 and uh, T10, T30, they're actually on mode five. And so uh, the, the actually the new DJI RTK base stations actually show you mode one through five and, and what, they, what drones they go to. So it's kind of nice. So now we've got two green. So it's, we have mode one, which we need. We've got a green light for uh, satellite and then this will be uh, the ultimately the connection with the Phantom 4 RTK and that will turn uh, green once we connect that. So now we're going to go and uh, turn on the remote, turn on the drone and kind of go through our pre-flight and then we're going to set up the map. All right, so we're going to plan. Okay, we're going to plan the field and what we want to do is we want to do 2D photogrammetry. Uh, at the very end, it will actually do angled shots to get a uh, more concise elevation. So we hit 2D. Again, we're just gonna do around the property. Just gonna come down to actually 40 meters. This is what you want right here is altitude optimization. So it'll actually do oblique pictures and that way it uh, gets a better altitude number. I'm just gonna keep that 70 and 80 overlap. The margin setting, just because I don't want to be flying over some houses and roads, I'm going to actually hit manual and I'm just going to tighten it up. So the margin setting, it basically goes over a little bit, you know, past your box that you made. That way it's just making sure that you get all of the data that you need. So we'll hit save. Okay. so. This, we planned our map, it's basically about five acres. And uh, this last little line, that's where it's gonna do the altitude optimization. Um, this is gonna be able to be used for the fruit tree mode as well as just general field planning. So in, in this case, we're gonna fly one map, but we'll ultimately stitch two of the maps. Okay, now another thing you need to come in here and check is we've got RTK aircraft RTK positioning we tap here and that goes to D RTK mobile station confirm it'll disconnect and then reconnect and what we want to see so we have the aircraft and the latitude, longitude, altitude, and now it just connected. Now we, there we go. So now we also have that, those same lat, long, and altitude for the mobile station. All right, so now we've planned everything. We need to hit 
invoke and start. It'll give us our pre-flight precautions. Okay. It uploads the mission to the drone and then we're basically ready. Uh, we just slide execute, it'll take off and do that mission. All right, so we've actually planned the map on the remote, but there's a second way that you can also do it. You can use uh, DJI Terra, run it at the same time, and you, you actually plug the remote into the computer that's running Terra, and you then just plan from the, the computer, and you can actually execute everything from here. Uh, the nice thing about this is that it, it can build the 2D maps and 3D maps in live in real time. So if uh, you know you're out somewhere and, and you just want to make sure that you got things you know well you know good, um, you can kind of go back and check because it, it essentially stitches a uh, kind of dumbed down version of the of the map. All right, so we're gonna plan this and then we're actually we're gonna fly. We're gonna, or soon we're gonna fly. Okay, change this to satellite. And now we just plan basically the way we did on the remote, but just using the computer. You can see a little bit more. Put the same parameters in here. And keep this at field. Seventy eighty overlap, that's good. Save that. Now if we hit start from here, it also gives you the additional checklist kind of pre-flight checklist, hit OK. Now it's uploaded basically that same mission that we just planned on the remote, it now, it's now planning and, and uh, sending it from the computer. And we can hit uh, basically go fly and boom, we're ready. <laughs> We've flown the map now, so what we need to do is go inside and reconstruct the map. That way we can start to edit it. All right, we're back inside. We've got our images on the SD card, and that has actually been placed into the computer. And we've got Terra running, and I have kind of first uh, pre-created these two missions. So. Essentially, I've labeled one field and the other one fruit tree because they are actually reconstructed a little bit differently. So if you're going to do a fruit tree mission, you would have to use the same imagery and, and reconstruct or stitch that map uh, again, even if you had done that in the field uh, mode. So this one I have labeled field, this one I have labeled fruit tree. And we're still going to use the same pictures it's the same flight we're just going to basically stitch uh, the map twice so first we're going to go through field and hit this and so it is a 2d map so we're going to keep it as 2d uh, it's not urban so the mapping scene this is where you actually determine whether or not uh, it's going to be field or fruit tree so in this case, we're going to go with field. So it's going to be, uh, and, and if you don't do it this way, um, you know, like if you stitched field and then you went uh, and tried to use that map to do a fruit tree, it's not going not gonna to work for you. So start off with field. We're going to do high resolution. We have to pick our file. So we've got... It's in the survey folder. It's 
this one. So you can actually just click the whole folder, hit select. Now at the bottom right here, it's going to be adding those. So it added the pictures. Okay, so we've constructed the map. It's stitched. Um, I do know that this it looks kind of weird at this corner piece. I think I had uh, pulled that in a little bit, and it didn't quite acquire uh, all the uh, the corner here. Um, but anyways, for the for this purpose, we're basically just looking for uh, a map to just start with, and we're going to do from from this map. We'll essentially stitch a second map, which will be instead of field, it'll be fruit tree. This will allow us to do the actual spot spraying of individual trees, you know, at the crown center of each tree where it'll spray a little bit, uh, stop spraying, and then go over to another tree and, and begin to spray again. So um, also you get a quality report, which is you know, it, it can be little, uh, of some type of help. It could be put into uh, maybe a PDF. Uh, I sometimes save it. Uh, the, the first portion of this is showing how many images were used. Um, also, uh, down below, it says uh, RTK status. If it's in the fixed position, that means it is getting... Uh, it is connected to satellite. So all 215 of our images were... RTK images. Uh, this uh, up here, the geo referencing RMSE, that's root mean square error. Uh, other than the fact that the lower this number, the better. Uh, I'm not sure that it's going to be too much of importance to, to anyone uh, unless you're kind of a surveyor. But this is getting, you know, it, it, this, is, this is a good number. Point. 0.19 meters. Uh, everything here, cal a camera calibration, these are all focal lengths. Uh, basically, a lot of it's probably going to be over uh, most people's heads, including mine, because this is uh, getting into the math of the actual camera. But again, if you're in the surveying, you might need this information. And then we drop down, and it gives you the RGB map so you get a nice color map of what you just shot and then a little bit farther down it'll show you an elevation map so you'll be able to get uh, uh, this uh, DSM preview here all right and then you get uh, last part is the overlap of all the pictures so we had a uh, 80 percent 75 percent and or I think 70 and 80 percent overlap I believe Actually, I might even say it in here. Uh, I don't see it, but anyways, that's quality report. So what we're going to do now is actually stitch the second map. Uh, it, it's essentially the exact same map, but instead of map in the mapping scene, instead of picking field, we're going to pick the uh, fruit tree. All right, so we can go, we've, this one's stitched, so we go back. I'm going to click this guy, pull it up, and right here, still 2D map. Under mapping scenes, instead of urban or field, you're going to do fruit tree. All right, and, and actually... I was going to see if we could just add that. Um, can we go to the folder? Survey. This is the one we did before. Select the folder. It starts to add. And we are ready to go for reconstruction. Okay, so that's basically it. So after this one stitches, we will have a map ready for um, <clears throat> doing agricultural applications in kind of a field setting. And then also we will have our fruit tree mode uh, where it's more um, individual plants or individual trees. All right, so 
Next one is going to be the uh, second installment of our video. We're going to actually dig deeper into Terra and build those, uh, both of those uh, scenario based missions. Uh, one being the fruit tree, the other one being uh, just kind of an automated flight for a regular field. All right, so we'll see you next time.